Hey friends, Miss Wendy with the Fairfield Public Library and today we are going to be working with magnets. We'll be making a magnet maze and learning a little bit about magnetism. Please join me. So friends, in your envelope you have a piece of chipboard, two magnets, different shapes and colors, one small piece of cardstock and what you'll need are scissors, a pencil with an eraser, and markers or crayons or something that you like to color with. What is a magnet? A piece of metal that can attract another piece of metal. A magnet has an invisible force called magnetism which makes magnets stick to other magnets or metals. Here's Duncan and Percy. They have magnets on the front and their back so that they can connect together. But watch, this magnetic field is repelling Percy. And Percy's magnetic field is repelling Duncan. If Duncan turns around, it attracts if they both turn around, what do you think will happen? Attracts. So these are opposite poles and these are same poles. See, no matter what I do, I can't make them stay. They just repel. Kind of cool, right? I can show you the maze that I made. This is my bunny and on the back of my bunny I have that other magnet. These attract. What we, we do with our bunny is put it on the maze and the bunny wants to get to the carrot patch, right? So we will move our bunny along. Maybe it wants to make some stops along the way see some flowers and makes its way to the carrot patch to eat yum 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 so i just decided to start over here this was my start and my finish is over here and then i just made a line to start with and I did make some loops, but for this one, I'm just going to kind of make a squiggly line and I'm going to end at the finish. And so then I started another line and actually I'm going to start on this side. And then I just followed the line that I made and we finish over here. And that's the finish line. And then you could see how I had to erase to uh, get to the end. That's perfectly fine. You could erase in other places and make some maybe detours or something. See, that doesn't go anywhere. Uh, maybe you can do that over here as well. Just erase. And however you think you want to design your your maze you can totally do that so there's my maze and what I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna make this a racetrack and I'm gonna just draw a little car on here now see how small my bunny is you want to make this very small just to fit not too much bigger than your magnet and so we're going to just use a little piece of the cardstock and I'm just going to make a car and I'm going to cut it out experiment to see which side of the rubber magnet is more strongly attracted to the pushpin magnet then glue the opposite side to the paper and I'm going to put glue on my magnet. 
glue this on the way it best fits. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to take my markers now and just go ahead and design my road. The first thing I'm going to do, since it's a road, I'm going to outline in black all around the lines that I made. So, and because it's a road, I'm going to make a line here like this. That's like the dotted line in the middle of the road, right? And this is the finish line and I'm going to make a checkered flag. And then I'm just going to, there's some grass here, grassy spots. Maybe there's a lake right there too. I think I'm going to make a lake there. And over here, maybe some, maybe some flowers over here or some trees. Maybe I'll make a little tree. So you design your track any way that you'd like. All right, so I have my little car here. I'm going to make my car red. And of course, black tires, right? My car is going to start here and take a trip. You can put your car there, get your other magnet, put it behind, and there goes my car down the road. Oh, wants to take a stop and just take in the lake. All right, turning around and go into the finish line. Woohoo! So I hope you'll have lots of fun designing your road, playing with your magnets, And if you'd like, you can even have something on the other side of your cardboard. So you can design another one and have two different mazes. Thanks for joining me, friends.